Hello, Blockheart Productions here, and this is the second video to the two-part tutorial on how to make a nice-looking bullet effect with Real Flow and 3ds Max. So here we are in 3ds Max. We've got our scene. I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger. All right. So here we have an empty scene, and uh, in order to do this, you need the Real Flow um, plugin for 3ds Max. So we're gonna go into real flow. We're gonna uh, under geometry, you know, create geometry, real flow. We're gonna go to mesh loader. Now we're gonna go to our bin mesh sequence. So here we are, and let's see. I'm gonna go to finding my mesh, and I think this is it. Open. All right, so now I'm just gonna click. Don't have to click and drag or anything. So now this thing is gonna end up being really small at first. See, Man, that's barely anything. So I'm just gonna have to zoom out, enlarge a bunch. All right, I think that's good. So this is our mesh, and as you can see, it looks sort of ugly. Okay, well, anyways, we're gonna fix this. So, of course, uh, blood isn't yellow unless, I don't know, you're from Planet X or something. Uh, you, you tell me. <laughs> so, we're going to make this human blood. Or, I mean, basically, coloring is preference if you were doing an alien, color it blue. So, what we're going to do here first, uh, this is how I do it. I'm going to go to Material Editor. And here, we're going to, everything should be, you know, set up, whatever. I'm going to go down to Diffuse or whatever this is for you, whatever program you have or 3ds Max version. I'm going to, I usually color this a bright red, but I do that for video editing purposes so it's easy to take out the black. But to make this look realistic for now, I'm just going to choose a dark red. So press OK. And Specular, I'm going to bring up to uh, high. Basically, this is just like uh, glossiness. Uh, the color of the glossiness. So now I'm going to bring up the specular level quite a bit, and as you can see, there's oh big bright light. So now our glossiness, I'm just going to bring all the way up to 100, and cool. Now we got this cool looking blood thing. <laughs> all right, so oh much better. That looks a lot better. But you know what? Look at that. It's still got all those polygons. So here's what we do. We can close out of this for now. We're going to click on this. We're going to click on the real flow mesh. We're going to go here to uh, modify. And if this is selected, you should see this. Now, under modifier list, we're going to click on this little arrow, being the drop, uh, bring down the drop down menu. And we are going to go and find Turbo Smooth. Should be somewhat near the bottom. And click on that. Now, all right, look. Iterations one and look how much it smoothed that, that out I mean gosh that is beautiful <laughs> so basically this is what turbo smooth does it uh, makes your it makes your blood look a lot more liquid like a lot more smooth and with the iterations what that does is just uh, make it more or less smooth so here I'll show you up close iterations up to two and Boom. There we go. Now it's really smooth, and I'm probably going to get a little bit choppy because of how amazing it is. My computer can't handle its amazingness at all, apparently. All right. Bring it back, back down to one. <laughs> all right. So, cool. Now, you know what? That looks, looks pretty good. I'm going to bring it to the front here, and I'm just going to... Ew, blood, look at that. Ew. Alright, cool. So, <laughs> now here is a key part. So, let's go up to render, uh, render setup. And I'm just going to do a single frame to now just to show you. I usually go to HD video and click on, you know, 920 by 1080. And I do uh, iterative. Okay. And, yeah, that looks all good. So, now check this out. You know, we're going to render. Render this scene here. 
maybe uh, zoom out just a little. Okay. So, now that we have zoomed out just a little, I'm going to render iterative. I think, that, I think that's how you say it. So, looks good, right? No, wrong. It does not look good. All right, no. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. And you want to know why? Yeah, yeah, you want to know why? All right, I'll tell you. Because there is no motion blur. So, with the motion blur, that's going to make it look a lot more realistic. And to make a realistic motion blur, this is all you have to do. Literally, all you have to do. Click on your mesh. Have it highlighted. And it should look something like this. I'm going to right-click. Go down to Object Properties. So, now we're at Object Properties. Looks... Well, well, what do you do? Oh, look, motion blur. So, what you want to do is enabled by object. And you want to click on this object right here. Don't want to do image. You don't want to click on any of this. You want to do by object right there. All right, so click OK. Now, check this out. And voila, look at that. Looks a lot better. And, I mean, yes, I know, it, it's still, you know, not as motion blurry right here, but, I mean, compared to what it was, it's a lot better. And uh, down here, you definitely got a lot of motion blur. And since the stuff up here is not moving too much, there's no need for the motion blur. And it just applies the motion blur uh, when needed. So, I would say that is how you make a successful blood burst. And stay tuned, and... Uh, Follow my blog, YouTube channel, and keep you updated on posts and more little tips, videos, etc., etc. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Blackheart Productions out.